नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो एज पर द इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट फोरकास्ट द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंस विच वॉज येस्टडे ओवर नॉर्थ पाकिस्तान एंड नेबरहुड एंड अलॉन्ग विद ट्रफ and also there was moisture feeding from the arabian sea so this uh, uh, western disturbance caused maximum rainfall activity on 16th of october uh, ending at 8:30 hours ist of today and as we can see heavy rainfall has been reported over uh, over uh, jammu and kashmir over west rajasthan and also over uh, heavy rainfall has been reported over himachal pradesh as well and uh, uh, if we talk about uh, the further effect of uh, further effect of this western disturbance so only uh, today there would be uh, 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 effect uh, effect of this western disturbance over northwest india but this effect would be of lesser intensity than yesterday and today if we talk about it will it is unlikely to cause any heavy rainfall activity over the region but uh fairly widespread to widespread light to moderate uh, uh, rainfall and snowfall over the uh, hilly areas may be observed during next 24 hours over jammu kashmir ladakh gilgit baltistan muzaffarabad himachal pradesh uttarakhand and also light to moderate rainfall scattered to fair at uh, uh, some to many places over punjab haryana uh, over north rajasthan and over the uh, west up uh, west up which is adjoining to haryana so here light to moderate rainfall at some to many places may be observed during next 24 hours after that from tomorrow the weather would be totally dry and dry weather would continue uh, till till 21st of october and uh, and uh, the temperatures as the india meteorological department has been predicting since 5 uh, to 7 days that temperatures would fall Uh, by 2 to 4 degrees centigrade so if we uh, look at today's temperature then it has seen a fall of 3 to 5 degrees centigrade over the regions of punjab haryana north rajasthan and west up and there is no further uh, fall in temperatures likely during next 5 days so that was all about the western disturbance affecting northwest india there would be dry weather from tomorrow onwards there would be some effect uh, in in terms of light to moderate rainfall over the northwest india but it would be of lesser intensity than yesterday so that's all about the uh, rainfall activity over northwest india or rest parts of the country the weather is going to remain dry during next 5 days but as far as south peninsular india is concerned so isolated heavy rainfall is likely over uh, kerala over uh, uh, tamil nadu especially southern parts and ghat areas of tamil nadu and over uh, uh, southern parts of south interior karnataka during next 24 hours after that uh, there is no uh, probability of isolated heavy rainfall over uh, southern peninsular india and uh, there would be only isolated to scattered light to moderate rainfall activity over extreme southern peninsular india that is tamil nadu and kerala and then if we talk about uh, the uh, low pressure areas and and their probability so uh, currently we have a cyclonic circulation over southeast uh, arabian sea and adjoining lakshadweep area and uh, this uh, cyclonic circulation is likely to uh, uh, likely to move west north westwards and a low pressure area may develop out of this cyclonic circulation by around 21st of october and thereafter uh, it uh, uh, there is also probability of formation of a uh, uh, depression uh, from this low pressure area by around 23rd of uh, by around 23rd of uh, uh, october and there is an other cyclonic circulation over southeast bay of bengal and adjoining andaman sea and under the influence of this cyclonic circulation also we are expecting a low pressure area over southeast and adjoining central bay of bengal by around 20th of october so that was all about, all about the rainfall scenario over the country and the scenario over the uh, about the expectation of formation of low pressure areas over the sea area so as we can see uh, two uh, low pressure area possibilities are there during next 3 uh, uh, to 4 days one over the south east uh, uh, over the southeast arabian sea and another over the southeast and adjoining east central bay of bengal during next 3 to 4 days and after that we we will uh, talk about the uh, southwest monsoon withdrawal so today the southwest monsoon has withdrawn from remaining parts of uh, 
east india and entire north east india so uh, sswb was remaining uh, to be withdrawn and so sswb uh, southwest monsoon has withdrawn from remaining parts of uh, sswb that is sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim and also from remaining parts of bihar and it has also withdrawn from the entire north east india so if we talk about today's uh, uh, southwest monsoon withdrawal line so it is passing from uh, uh, the from the extreme uh, south uh, eastern part of uh, northeast bay of bengal to uh, uh, it is going uh, through east central and west central bay of bengal into machli patnam of coastal andhra pradesh and then it is going from there to uh, uh, the station kurnool of uh, kurnool of uh, 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 andhra pradesh and from there it is going to badami of north karnataka and from there into vengurla of south konkan and from there it is going into the central arabian sea so that was all about uh, uh, for today's delhi weather briefing tomorrow we will again meet with delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next 5 days thank you and goodbye